psychiatrist and he has um, a therapist as well. So maybe that would stop them moving forward with that motion. Is the police code for taking him to mental place for 72 hours. He just needs to say silence is golden, okay? Whatever they come out and the prosecute is probably, it's not like New York courts. In New York, they'll be freaking slamming you down left, right and center. It's freaking chaos in New York when he goes to courts over there. It is chaos. People are screaming, yeah? Hopefully, he's going to get so pissed off. I want to know what he's saying. I want to be eyes in that court right now because Aaron is going to be pure entertainment. He's going to be like popping off at fucking everybody. Fuck you. He's going to be talking about the animal control. He's going to start saying the smear campaign, which is true. There was a smear campaign. There is a smear campaign. There is. You know, there is. Like people go after him a lot and they call cops and all this shit. I don't like that stuff, you know. Um, I think all the stress of everything. He might be bipolar. I'm bipolar. He might be bipolar. I don't know. You know what I mean? Because if you're if he's on weed all the time, you have to be clean off of everything to basically assess somebody. Like you've got to hold them for at least like a week until the meds wear off, like whatever he's taken. In order to assess somebody for a psychiatric treatment, you need to make sure that whatever they're taking, weed, um, medication, whatever stuff he's on, he needs to be clean off of that and then they can give you a diagnosis. But before then, it's just going to be like, well, it could be because of his weed that he's like this or it could be a combination of his other medications that he's taking that he's like this. You know what I mean? So in order for them to assess him, like I'm bipolar, look, when I, like they assessed me, I was clean up everything, I was just really pure manic, okay? So I know what it's like, Aaron could be, but like, you just, you can't tell, no, psychi no, no psychi a psychiatrist ever could give him a diagnosis whilst he's on medication. That is um, not ethical, it's not the way to do things, you can't diagnose somebody when they're not off everything, they need to be clean. And then you can assess him. So if they were going to do a 5150, they'd make sure that he's not, he won't have his weed anymore, which is freaking stress him the fuck out. <laughs> they would give him a drug test. Well, he's, he's not taking anything illegally. I think it's too much. Honestly, I think it's a little bit too much weed. Like I, like I smoked pot before once, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not like the best. I'm not. I'm not an innocent, pure person, but I am. But I took weed once. I smoked it, and I went cray cray. It made me really manic, and it made me. <laughs> oh my god! It made me seriously manic. I was fucking. I was all over the fucking place. I was not even me. I was like, who am I right now? I was paranoid. I thought somebody drugged me and gave me cyanide. Um, with some people, weed does make you paranoid. It's one of those things that's been proven in research and studies that people who smoke, um, do too much marijuana, will get schiz can get schizophrenia. It's, I actually worked in hospitals back in London. And a lot of these people came in with schizophrenia because paranoid schizophrenics because of all, like, the doctors would say it's because of the amount of weed that probably contributed to that as well. So I don't think he, I don't, I don't do weed. I think it makes me paranoid. It makes me psycho, like, legit. It says about 2% of the people that smoke weed actually get manic and psychosis. I get that. I start hallucinating. I hear audio and visual hallucinations. I'm not cool, dude. So I don't like <laughs> Don't give it to me. People outside, oh, do you want a puff? Hell no. Do you want me to go to the hospital, you evil freaking human being? Not going to happen. In one puff, guys, that's all it takes. One puff for me and I'm freaking loony. I'm off the fucking rails. <sighs> I don't like it. It gives me very bad panic attacks. Calms you down. It makes me manic, dude. Oh my God, your door is back. What, what, what? How did the hospital go, girl? Hope it went well, sweetheart. My bro is FBI. My cousin is assistant DNA. LA Evelyn. <gasps> oh my God. We've got a team right now. Lynette is part of the FBI. We've got FBI oranges right now, dude. We are on a mission. We've got FBI freaking oranges. Can you tell your cousin and your brother, or your brother who's FBI, can you tell him to just say that he's an orange? 
No, it's proven that um, if you smoke too much pot, it can give you schiz you can become a paranoid schizophrenic. Aaron's been smoking it since he was like 11, 12 years old. He smokes a lot every single day. It's a lot. He takes edibles. He smokes constantly, constantly smoking weed. You know, it's gonna do something to your head.